This is my fancy automatic flower farm. I'm gonna show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. If you like today's video, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. So yeah, this is exactly what I said it is. It is an automatic flower farm. But I, I wanted to kind of make it look nice. Every time I see flower farms, they're usually boxy and ugly and they work, but they just don't look good. So I wanted to combine functionality and design and the design is part of it. So if this is something you're not interested in, I'm not going to be separating the redstone and the build. I want the whole build to be a thing. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, so you flick it and water's gonna go. It's gonna stop, give it a second. Now it'll go, there we go. Okay, so it'll push it. Now you might every once in a while see some of the further back ones not go, but that's okay. They'll get pushed the next time, okay? And then what you're gonna do to shut it off is you're gonna flick it, okay? Flick it really quick. Okay, see how it's like, see how it's like taking a little bit of time? So what you wanna do is push it to when the water is completely full like that, and then just flick it like that. And there we go. Okay, and that's how you stop it. So you're gonna pull it down. You're gonna pull it down until the water is just stopped, and then you're gonna flick it twice really quick so it's pointing back that way. All right, let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need. Either pause it or take a screenshot. This is, uh, these are spruce trap doors, and these are pressure plates, so just keep those in mind so you don't confuse them, okay? The build itself is eight wide by, I believe, 13 deep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our stripped spruce log, and we're gonna go one. This So if this was eight wide, this would be on the, on the one over. So it comes out to here, so we're actually gonna start on this one. It comes out like this, right? If you're doing the eight across and the 13 deep, it would be on the second one back, and the second one over. So one, two, three, four, five. Then count over seven, one, two, I mean six, one, two, three, four, five on that sixth one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now what we're gonna do out of that is we're gonna come out one, two, three, put a junk block, one, two, three, put a junk block, one, two, three, and then up just like that, okay? And you're gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay, now let's do the back really quick. So what we're gonna do is, not this one right here, but that, this one over, we're gonna go one, two, three, and then another one down, okay? We're gonna take some redstone, three pieces of redstone. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're then going to take our observers. We're gonna go up one, two, three, like so. Now we can run our dispensers, five of them, going all the way across the back. And for the sides, we are going to run spruce logs this way, spruce logs this way, and we're gonna cover that, this, and that side with glass. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spruce wood stairs, and we're gonna put on the bottom and the top of this front one, turn it around right there. Also do the inside, just like so. Okay, we're gonna do this the exact same way on the opposite side, just like so. Okay, we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go there and there. Same thing on this one, there and there as well. Okay, now what we can do is we can take our shroom lights and we can put them in the corners right next to the stairs. Okay, do that all the way around. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, on top of all the shroom lights, we're gonna put spruce trap doors. For the front only, we're just gonna do two of the spruce planks. Leave that middle spot empty for now. On the sides and the back, we're gonna do, again, the trap doors, and then we're just gonna run spruce wood planks across the, the whole thing. Do that all the way around. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down two, six out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna run redstone all the way across, okay? You're then going to put back, where is it? You're then going to put back a spruce wood plank here. You can put a lever on top, okay? Get rid of that lever. <clears throat> Leave this for now, go behind it, go one, two, two deep. You're gonna have a repeater coming out of that block. A piece of redstone does there. Again, leave that for now. Break that and put another 
repeater there. Should be going into that redstone we put in the beginning. Okay. Then what we're going to do, actually, I'll tell you what, break that piece of redstone that's for now because what you have to do is, see the two blocks that I told you to leave? That's where we're going to put our dispensers. Oh, no, it's fine because they're actually going to phase this way. I forgot. Yeah, they're going to phase this way. So you could leave that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put dispenser facing this way, dispenser facing this way. Okay, fill in the ground with the dirt, just like so. And you're only going to put back two here. So you're going to go one, two. Okay, now what you're going to do is dig next to it just so you can kind of all right, get down. And then we're going to put an observer facing down. So the red part is down. Okay, and then you can put your, your blocks back like that. Okay, very cool. Now what we're going to do is right in front of where this lever is, we're just going to place a uh, chest. Okay, behind that chest. So we're going to have five hoppers. So actually, let's put crouch. Make sure you crouch. You can place a hop, uh, the hopper into that chest. Then break this block. Put a hopper into that hopper. Break this block. Make sure the hopper is in that hopper. Okay, same thing this way. Hopper, hopper. Okay, so it's all set looking like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our spruce stripped log. We're going to put one there and one there. And then really quickly, just crouch so you can place it on top of the chest for a minute. You're going to put, or actually you should just do it that way. Just three pieces of dirt. We're going to take some spruce trap doors and run them all the way across like that. And then just go ahead and break the dirt. Then right here, against where this log is, okay, we're going to take our spruce trap door, place it, put it up. Go to this one, place it, put it up. Now we don't want to put one on top of this chest right here because what's going to happen is every time you, you flick this, it's going to go up and down. So we're actually going to crouch and place it on top of the hopper right there. And the, oops, you have to do it inside. That's right. So what we got to do is crouch in here and then flip it up. Okay. Also creates kind of a, a nice little pattern right there. Okay, now coming back inside, we're going to take our, our stripped spruce logs again. This is for the last time we're going to need these. So we can put them across like so. We're going to take our spruce trap doors, not on this first one, but on the second one over. We're going to put one trap door there. Skip a space, one trap door. And then we're basically just going to go trap door on top of those, turn it around, and bring it down in the same spot. Then we're going to take flower pots, three of them, put them on top. Okay, in between the spots where the trap doors are. And I like the red tulips. I think they go really well. Do whatever you want to do. I really like the red tulips. Okay. Then we take our red banner and go one there, one there, one there. Come back inside. Go one, one, one. Okay. It should look like that. Okay. Now using our trap doors for the front, we're going to do this middle one. And we're going to do exactly what we've been doing, which is going all the way around. So it creates a really nice design and uh, kind of firms it up a bit. Makes it seem like it's a lot tougher of a structure. Okay, because it's just, it pops out, so it makes it feel like it's it's more secure. And then for the back, we're just going to do it right there, just on those two. Okay, and just like so. Then on the top, we're going to take our spruce wood stairs, and we're going to go one here, one here. Go one there, one there. Okay, on top of, right, remember those uh, the pillars we had in the beginning? So these ends, we're going to put a spruce slab, slab there, a slab there. Do the same thing on the front ones, there, and there. And then we're going to take our trap doors, and I'm going to face the side. So each of those, I'm going to face the sides. I'm going to go one on top of that, one on top of that, one on top of that, and then just go kind of all the way down with it. Okay, and then you're going to do the same exact thing on this side. So again, oh, and we also have to put it one on top of that, one on top of that. Do the same exact thing on this side. Okay, now for the sides here. The middle of the three, so it's so we have the three going uh, left and right. We're going to do the middle one. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one here and then underneath it. Same thing with this one on the middle one there and there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the inside. Make sure it's on the middle there and there. Okay. And then before we do this side, what we're going to do is you're going to take your stairs and we're going to go this way and this way with it. Okay, but we're also going to do that way and that way. So it looks just like that. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay, to finish up the sides, we're going to come right to this first one of the three. We're going to put a spruce fence gate or spruce fence with a lantern underneath it. 
then go to this one right here, which is the last one of the three in the, in the middle section, and put another uh, lantern and fence. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So again, towards the first one here, and then the last one in the middle section, and just like so. Okay, and now let's do the front really quick before we finish up the sides. So remember how I said for the trap doors, I want them all facing this way for the side. For the front, we're gonna face them this way. So we're simply just gonna put one there, one there, and then what we're gonna do is crouch, place a piece of dirt, and put a door on a spruce door on top, trap door on top, and it looks like this. Okay. Now for the sides, what we're gonna do is here and here, we're gonna put uh, pressure plates with fence like that. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Go one up, one up, just like that. Okay. So it's gonna look, <clears throat> excuse me, just like this. And then we're just gonna finish it off with some trap doors, which I forgot here and here. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now one of the things I forgot, hopefully I put it, I remembered to put in the ingredients. You gotta make sure you add water buckets to these um, dispensers back here. And for these dispensers, all they need is bone meal. So just make sure you get um, some bone meal in each of those. Okay, we'll just do like, we'll just do a few for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna trigger it and uh, show you that it's working. So again, there's nothing in this chest. Now let's just trigger it, okay? So that's just to start it, okay? Because that, that meant it was off. This is, I mean, this means the lock is on. Now if you pull it, it'll start going. Okay, there you go. So you just have to push it initially to get it started and then pull it to keep it going. And now you'll notice inside the chest, you'll start to get flowers and seeds and all that good stuff. Um, depending on where you build this, you're gonna get different flowers. So uh, just keep that in mind, but yeah. And if you get it lucky enough, you can actually do it on the first try where you don't have to, you know, lock it and then flick it. All right. And that's it. That is the automatic flower farm that I think looks really good. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. Captain Obvious out. Peace.